Hey everyone, welcome to Homestead Corner. Today I thought we would talk about some preps that we can do for absolutely free that won't cost anything. I know a lot of us have been super busy trying to get everything in order, making sure that we have the supplies we need, we're able to get the food stocked up, everything that we really want to have in these times of uncertainty. And during this time, we don't always have money to spend, and sometimes it's good to just get some other things done. There are a lot of really important preps that don't cost anything at all that you could be doing right now in your time when you're waiting for the next paycheck or when you're waiting for a good deal on something or something like that. So right now is a great time to do those free things that don't cost anything. It's just a little bit of your time and it will help you in the long run. So here are just a few to get you started. And But one of the first things I think is super important right now is to get organized. Having everything organized in your home is going to help you be able to find everything you need when an emergency happens. If something happens and you need a certain tool, having everything organized is going to help you. We have been reducing a lot of stuff that we don't need in our home and getting rid of it. So either donating it, giving it away, whatever. Um, just clearing stuff out, making sure we have the space to keep everything we do need organized. So that is a really great one and it will help you in an emergency if you can find things really quickly. And the next thing is getting documents printed out offline. We have had so many uh, times that we hear about the possibility of attacks, possibility of someone taking the grid down, taking our banking down, hospitals down, anything like that. If they took the grid down or took even just took the internet down, where are all your documents? If you need to access to those, I would make sure that every document you have is printed out. Write down all your information, all that stuff. Get hard copies of everything right now. I think that is so important. The internet going down would be disastrous for us, really. And uh, contact information also on your phones, phone numbers, addresses, things like that. If you don't have access to the internet and you need to get in touch with someone, you could, if you have their address, you can go there. You can find them. Um, there are just getting all that stuff written down is super important and having hard copies of everything those recipes things like that having everything uh, banking information any kind of documents that you might need get make sure you have those in hard copy taking inventory is another one and not just your food supplies taking inventory of your tools do you have all the tools that you need um, Making sure that you have everything and where they are is really important. Um, also, you know, do you have enough ammo for each type of weapon that you have? If you have a 12 gauge, a 20 gauge, a, you know, a 9 millimeter, uh, whatever you have, you know, do you have enough ammunition for each one of those? If you need it, you know, for hunting, for whatever protection, whatever you need it for. If, you know, do you have a magic number that you think is a good amount? You know, some people think that 500 rounds for each weapon is enough. Some people think 5,000 rounds is enough. So whatever your magic number is, are you there? Go through your stuff, make sure what you have, and you can at least prepare a list for when you're ready to purchase if you need to. The next thing is exercising. A lot of times we don't think exercising, we don't really think of it when we think of prepping, but the reality is, is if the grid goes down for a long time, it is a lot more work that you're going to have to do. A lot more physical labor. If you have to chop and cut wood, um, splitting wood with a mall is, you know, no easy task. Lugging water back from a pond down the road, 
another it takes quite a lot of energy getting in shape the best you can even if it's a little at a time start with a 10 or 15 minute walk work your way up things like that getting in shape definitely helps so you can handle when something happens you're ready it's not going to cause you to have some kind of attack or problem you know you want to be able to get what you need done and have the energy and the physical stamina to be able to do it. Another one is practice with your preps. I know a lot of people buy stuff and toss it in the closet or put it in a tote or put it neatly on a shelf. That's great, but if you don't know how to use it and you're not skilled at using those items, it could be a big problem in an emergency. So busting out those preps the new things you've bought in the last couple of months if you have not tried them yet now is a great time to get out there and try them if you've got a new bivy go set it up outside you know that if you are new to a bug out bag practice carrying it around see how the weight is you know you can adjust things things like that practicing with your preps is really going to help you in an event of emergency. You'll be ready to go, you know what you're doing, and it'll be much easier and less stressful for you. If you have never used a ferro rod and striker, it can be extremely frustrating when the first few times that you do it, getting the hang of it is definitely something that you want to have down. So practice with them, use them, check out that new water filter, see how it actually does work. All those things are super important. Take some cash out of the bank is another one. Making sure that you've got small bills and cash on hand. If the grid goes down, if banks are attacked, anything like that, we may not be able to use our cards. Most likely, we won't be able to. And for a little while, even in a long-term grid down situation, for a little while, most places will still take cash. So I definitely, you know, if you could have two weeks to a month's worth of cash in, you know, stored up is wonderful. I know not everybody can do that, but as much cash as you can would be very helpful because we all forget stuff. I forget things. Everybody does. I know they do. <laughs> and that there's going to be that one thing in an emergency that you're going to be like, oh, dear Lord, I need to get that. And if you've got some cash, you could still probably get it. If you haven't already done this, right now, finding a local source of water could be life-saving for you. Where is there a local stream, a pond, a river, whatever there is, a lake, how far is it, how are you going to get there? Figure out where you can get local water. I know around here there are springs, natural springs, there are lots of rivers and things like that all over the place here. So, but I know they're not as easy to find in different areas, especially if you're in the city, you may want to scope out where the nearest water source is for you. Another great one is to practice fire starting. When's the last time you went out and started a fire? Uh, if you, if the grid went down, anything like that and you've got to start a fire to cook it is much easier if you're used to it than if you're not used to it no matter what your source is if it's with matches if it's with a lighter if whatever you have practice it make a fire boil water for coffee you know anything like that get it going enough so you could cook something on it if it's in a barbecue pit or whatever if you've never used a barbecue pit they're not they don't always light the first time if it's not something you're used to so practicing a fire so you have some heat and cooking is definitely really important to do and one last thing it may land up costing in the end but I would definitely say going over your car making sure your car is ready to go full tank is the gas tank full are your tires safe, your brakes, any tune-up that might need to be done, just going over and checking, making sure your fluids are topped off, things like that. Is your spare there in case you need it? Is it ready to go? 
and you have a jack or whatever so you can actually change the tire checking on all those things is really important so you have them and if you had to jump in your car and drive off for safety tomorrow is your car ready for that i mean if you had to drive 200 miles could your car make it right now is a good time to really look at your car we don't know what tomorrow is going to hold and there are all kinds of threats out there and lots of possibilities that can happen taking the time to go over your car is a really good idea if you are going to have to jump in that car in an emergency and go then making sure that everything is in tip-top shape is super important there are lots of other things that you can do for free and i think it is really important to get all these things done and you know take a little bit of time and just get to them make sure that they're done make sure you've got everything in order because we really do not know what tomorrow is going to hold. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.